So Husky Sat 1 was just deployed. It came from Cygnus, which is a spacecraft that takes cargo to the space station. And after it leaves the space station, it can then launch small satellites, which is amazing. Normally when you send a satellite to the space station, you release it from the space station and it's in a low orbit that eventually decays within a year or two or three, really quickly, relatively speaking. But because the uh, Cygnus vehicle can leave the space station and then launch from itself, it can launch into a higher orbit. And so hopefully this satellite will be able to stay in orbit for a whole lot longer than it would normally be had it gone to the space station and not through Cygnus. So it is a linear transponder. It has a VHF uplink and a UHF downlink. And the beacon was turned on when it was deployed. And I actually received it on its first orbit. And it was only a 10 degree pass. And it's a single sideband um, BPSK beacon download with data, downloading with data, and I tried to decode it. I wasn't able to decode it, unfortunately. Granted, I am doing the Doppler correction manually on UHF with SSB. It's pretty pronounced, so I don't know if it's even possible to decode it manually uh, adjusting for Doppler. But in any event, I heard it, and it's really cool to hear a new satellite for the first time. Here's an audio recording of it, and I put Orbitron next to it. And I just got the TLEs, which are the Keplerian elements. I just got those loaded. They were just released. And I tried to line up the audio and I simulate the pass so that it was matched up. And it was interesting to see that when I first heard um, Husky set, it actually came on right when, looking at the TLEs now, right when it actually came into view. So it was about five minutes behind the ISS. And I didn't hear anything for most of the ISS pass. And then all of a sudden, I started hearing the signal. And I was like, oh, well, the ISS is gone. And I, I was pointing at these restaurants and the direction of these restaurants. And I know these restaurants have um, these little pagers. So you wait to get your table and they send you a pager. And I've been to these particular ones in, in the vicinity that I was at. Uh, and they're on UHF. They're on 400 and some megahertz. And I was like, oh, it's probably just that. But then I kept listening and, you know, adjusting the polarity and I could hear it. And I realized finally that it was Doppler shifted. The frequency was going lower. And that point I knew it wasn't anything terrestrial. So it was moving through the sky. And then it got louder as I was able to move down faster and follow it. So here is what it sounds like. <laughs> 